Hi everyone and welcome to another session of Planet Art. How is everyone today? Nice to see you. Now look, today we're going to make a beautiful flower collage using, what are these? Let me show you from the side. Yes, exactly, they're little egg boxes, aren't they? Egg box things. So let's get our egg box and let's get cutting. So we have to cut the lid off, don't we? Let's find our scissors and we'll chop off the lid. Cut, cut, cut. Ooh, that's harder than I thought. There. So the lid can go to the side. We'll use that another day for another activity. And this little flap, we can cut that off too. Now, all we need, if you look at this one, these tops, don't we, these little cups where the eggs sit in, but I do know it's a little bit tricky to cut these out, so if it's too hard for you, please find your adult and say, please, can you just help me with this bit? I am doing it, but it is a bit tricky, so you have to have quite strong muscles in your little fingers. Ooh. And also, it's very helpful if you had a good breakfast. It makes you strong, doesn't it? There. So I've already cut it in half. And then I'm going to chop in here. Chop, chop, chop. I'll make beautiful flowers. You can see, cutting out these. So now they look... Oh. They look like this now. So what we have to do to get them looking like this, we have to make it nice and straight at the top. So we just cut around it like that. We just end up with the little neat cups and even this pointy bit sticking up here, we'll chop that off too. There. So we just end up with a little cup looking like this and then we want six of those okay see if you can do that and if not see if someone would please help you i'm doing my second one now you could already start thinking about which colors you might like to use today oops my second cup I actually had eggs for breakfast this morning, so that was quite good. That gave me the egg box because I bought new eggs yesterday, and today I'm already using it. That is called brilliant recycling, isn't it? That's what we're so good at at Planet Art, aren't we? You're very good at reusing and making wonderful new things out of old things. How are you getting on with your cutting? It gets easier, doesn't it? Once you've done the first few, I've done four now. Two more. And then we've got our little blossoms for our flowers. Snip, snip. There. Here's another one. And one more makes six. There, perfect. Here they are. Got them all in a pile. Remember, you can always pause the video. If I'm going too fast, you can then just catch up with me. Okay, so we've got this now. What did I use for this for the back? I used a very hard piece of card. So I had a look in my recycling box and I found an old envelope from a delivery that I've had. So I thought I could use that. So actually I'll keep it like that. And what I'll do, I'll just stick on a white, yes, I'll just stick on a white piece of paper like this to make the background for my picture. So you could do that too. 
okay i'm sure you've got an old piece of card that you could just stick on there. so we'll just stick that on cover the old card you probably have an old cereal box maybe or another piece of card we'll just put some glue on the back glue all over the back and then we can stick that on there we go Whoop. Perfect. Smooth it out nicely. Add a bit. So what I'm going to do for the background, for the background colour, on this one, on this collage, I painted mine, but I'm not going to do that now because then it would take too long to dry. So I've got two crayons, got a green one for the bottom bit and, and a blue one for the top half. So if you want to do that too, we could just sort of do a like a nice backdrop couldn't we so blue skies blue skies and we just very with very big movement just color it in like that it doesn't have to be neat or anything because we will stick our flower on it so i'm just going you see just like that shading it in it's called i'm just shading it in there a bit easy on the table And I don't have to be careful at the sides here because I'm going to make a frame for that later. I'll stick something over it. And you could do that too. And the sunshine's coming out outside just now. I can see out my window. Nice. Probably heard that we're making flowers. The flowers need sunshine to grow, don't they? What else do they need? Yes, very good. Water don't they just like us there now that's my sky and i've drawn a bit of a hill here and i'm now going to to do some green backdrop like a great big field very big field for my flowers to grow in whoops Colour, colour, colour. Perfect. Now, and that is our backdrop. I'm sure, your, I'm sure yours look much similar, don't they? So now, let's get the first egg cup and decide which colour flower. So if you look at these, I've done different colours. You could do all the same or each flower in a different colour, however you like it. So I'm going to start and paint my first egg cup yellow, just like I did in this one. Got my paint brushes here. I'm sure you have to. So I'm going to choose quite a big one. Just paint it all yellow. I'll try to not paint the bottom of it because that's where the glue goes. So try not to paint this bit on the bottom because we'll stick the glue there, won't we? So just go around the outside and spread your paint really well because the better you do that, the faster it will dry. We don't want to sit around too long waiting for it to dry, do we? So I'm really not using a lot of paint. As you can see, this one is almost dry as I'm doing it because I'm just spreading my paint really nicely. I'm doing the inside as well. Again, trying not to use too much paint. There, so then that's going to be my first flower. But it's really important that you don't paint the bottom bits because otherwise it'd be quite hard to get the glue, glue to stick there. So that's the first one, putting that to the side to dry. And I might, yes, I'm going to do another yellow one. I'll, I'll do two yellow ones. I know what you're going to do. nice thing is flowers come in all different colors and sizes and shapes don't they so we can be really creative or we could make up fantasy flowers couldn't we, we could just make up our own magical flowers which i think these are going to be there so i've got two yellow ones here 
paint, paint, paint. Okay, I kept this bit white or beige. Now I'm going to change brushes, wipe my hands. Have you also got an old cloth like this one here? Oh, this is so handy. Comes to every lesson with me. Now, the next colour I'm going to choose is pink. How about you? Anybody else using pink? Yeah. Oh, and again, I'm being careful not to not to paint the bottom bit. I have to keep reminding myself. And again, I'm going to do two egg cups in pink. I'll do two, two, two. Two yellow ones, two pink ones, and... Hmm, I wonder which other colour. What do you think? What might be nice for me to do? Maybe blue. Maybe blue ones. Then the inside. How's your painting coming along? It does get messy, doesn't it? There's no, no way around it when you're holding and painting an egg cup. I don't even know if you call these things egg cups, but you know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> Here we go. There's my pink one, ready to try. And then, oh yeah, here's the other one. Do another one. Spreading the paint as well as I can. <laughs> paint, paint, paint. I wonder what your favourite flowers are. Do any of you like tulips? I love tulips. They are my favourite flowers. What are yours? Don't forget to send me photos of your flowers that you've made. Then I can see them. I'd love to see them. So here's my second pink one. Yeah. And my last two egg cups, I might, let me think. So here I've got pink, pink, yellow, yellow, and then I've got turquoise in red. Um, I suppose I could do red or blue. I just don't know. What do you think? Hands up for red, blue. Oh, I think blue is the winner. Let's go for blue. Shake, shake. Let, ooh, let's go for blue. <laughs> Need a big brush. There. Oh, nice. This is just the right shade of blue. Very nice. Paint, paint, paint. Where do you think you might hang your um, flower collage? Maybe in your kitchen or in your bedroom? Or you could give it to someone? Yeah. Mine is going to go in the kitchen. I know just the right spot where it's going to go next to my garden door. There, that's the blue one. Perfect. And one more. One more. I quite like painting in circular motions like that. Move my brush around a bit like in circles. I think it's quite good. It covers the egg cups really well. It's getting so nice and sunny outside. Lovely. 
Here we go. Now, that's that, just the inside. Done the outside, so all we need to do is the inside. There are some blue flowers called corn flowers. So I suppose I could be making corn flowers, couldn't I? Have you seen them before? They're not that common actually. I haven't seen any for a long time. There. All done. Oh, I did quite well painting my fingers too. Did you as well? <laughs> Okay, here we go. See, again, my old cloth comes in so handy. Right, now if we look at this one, the one I did earlier, I wonder what we could do next while our egg cups are drying a little bit. What have I done down here? Grass, exactly. So should we try and do some grass? So if you have, like me, I've got an old bag I can show you. My bag of bits, ooh, it's here, and I've got all different bits of scrap paper in it. So whenever I use some paper, I just keep all the, the off cuts. So this is perfect for me to make some grass. I wonder if you have some paper like that. Or maybe if you don't have green, um, what could you use? I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you could do... You could paint your grass, or you could, um, yeah, you, or you could do felt, you could use felt tips or crayons, lots of different ways to make grass. So I'm just, if you do have green paper like me, you could just cut random strips of green paper, like I'm doing, and then we'll just stick them on, and that will make a nice, background for our flowers yeah. this might be enough already this goes back in my bag of bits because as you can see that always comes in handy so what I'm going to do I've done them quite long and I don't know if I should keep them that long or if I should just chop them I think I might chop them in half so I'm going to take all my strips and if you've done that, if you've done a bunch of strips like I have, you could just do the same. Pick them all up and roughly see where might the middle be and that's chop them in the middle. Whoops. And then you end up with lots of little bits of grass, don't you? And we could just stick them on. See, these are all my bits, my pile of bits of grass. And I'm going to put some glue at the bottom here. And then stick them on like that. See that? Just like that. Pop. Yeah, just do it. It's a bit tricky doing it, holding it up, but you get the idea, don't you? So just stick all your bits of grass at the bottom. Your egg cups are drying nicely. I need a bit more glue. Oh, got more paint on the table. That's the thing, when I'm painting, I paint everything around me as well. I'm probably messier than you are. <laughs> there, stick, stick, stick. I think I've just got just the right amount of grass here. I wonder how you are getting on. There. A few more. And I think that will do. That will look nice. There. What do you think? That's quite nice grass, isn't it? I'm sure yours looks really nice too. 
Now let's have a look at this one. How could we make the... How could we... Alexa, stop. Very sorry. I don't know how that piped up all of a sudden. How could we do the, the stems? I wonder. Now I'm actually thinking, do you remember this flap of the egg box? We could just use that, couldn't we? But I'm just going to cut, cut a little bit off that, just like that, and then use that. See that? Because in this one I used lollipop sticks, but I don't have them today. But if you do, of course you can use them. You can just paint them. Well, you might even have green ones. Like these ones I used before, I just coloured them in with a felt tip. That works really well too. So these ones, I'm just going to colour the paint with some green paint. Um... Almost got too many brushes, don't know which one to choose. This one looks good to me. So just colour these in, just paint these. And again, I'm trying to not get any paint on the back because then the glue will stick much better. So that's good actually, we're using another bit of our egg box. It's very good recycling, isn't it? Dip, dip, dip. Have any of you got lots of flowers in your own gardens? I've got lovely roses. Got roses in my garden and dandelions. You know those yellow bushy ones? Which flowers have you got? You could let me know when you send me your lovely photos of your collages, couldn't you? I'd love to know. But I would really, really like to see the photos of your beautiful collages. So please send them. Right, these are the stems. I've made three of them, as you can see. So now I'll just, actually I'll stick them on now because I was careful. I didn't, I didn't paint the back of them too much. So the glue stick should stick. It should be all right. Let me try. Let's give it a go. So I'm putting some glue on the back. There's one. And I'll stick it. Oh, it's sticky. One. See, it, it sort of went a bit bendy, but actually, that's really nice because flowers get bendy, don't they? And I stuck it behind the grass, as you can see. So, if you want, you can do that too. Quite a nice effect, I think. Next one. Yeah. And then one more, one more, there. So these are the stems, perfect. Does yours look a little bit like that too? Brilliant, well done. So now the next thing, I think our flowers are probably dry enough to to stick them on now or if not you could just wait and then come back to the video and just play press play and then you could continue i'll do it now because obviously i want to show you how i'm doing this so lots of glue at the bottom here and then we just stick them on in whichever way you want to press quite hard as you stick them on Let's make sure we press quite hard, right into the middle. Maybe stick them, press in the middle, go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's quite good to make them stick really well. There's my yellow one.
another pink one I've got. And then if you stick it, if you stick, first stick the first three and then stick one at the top behind, then it really does begin to look like a bunch, isn't it? A bunch of flowers. This is nice, actually. Mm -hmm. There, and this is my last one. Perfect. This is looking good. You could do more if you wanted to. I mean, if you have one of those big egg boxes with 12 eggs and you could do more, make a really big bunch. Look, this is nice, isn't it? So what should we do next? If we look at this one, what did I do in this one? The background, we could decorate the background. So I made a sunshine and the cloud here. Should we do that? So for the sunshine, I mean, luckily, I've actually got some shiny paper in my bag of bits. So you might have something similar. If not, you might have some yellow, or you might have, or you could paint it, or use it with a, um, draw sunshine with the crayon or with a felt tip, whichever way you want to do it. So I'm just, cutting out a sort of sunshine shape like this see how shiny that is that's the thing whenever I see nice paper I do keep it you never know when it comes in handy and today it has some glue on the back and I'm going to stick it into the sky right here to shine on my beautiful flowers Oh, nice. And to do, to draw the, um, the sun rays, I actually have a sort of golden pen. So that's quite nice. You might have one too. If not, you could use, I mean, you could even actually, maybe that's even better. If you do have shiny paper like this, you could just cut, cut a few sun rays, even though it is fiddly. Ooh. It's so fiddly, it's sticking, look, it's sticking to me. I might give it a, a go. I'll have one more try. Ooh. Actually, yes, it is working. So I'm going to do little strips like this and stick them around the sun, like the sun rays. Wonder how you are going to make your sunshines? You could use tissue paper, belt, foam sheets uh, or just normal yellow paper or felt tip or a crayon whatever you have that's the good thing isn't it there are no rules or anything we just do what we like and what we think looks beautiful look this is how i mean so i'll just stick them all around okay i've got about one two three four five That's a collage. Oh, gosh, it is a bit fiddly. Are you good with fiddly things? <laughs> I'm sometimes not that patient, but I'm trying to be. Here we go. When I see it looks so beautiful like this, then it's really nice. Oop. And I'm going to do, can you see? Looks like a sunshine now, doesn't it? And it's shiny. And one more. There. Perfect. So that's my sunshine. What should we do up here? Have a little look what I did in this one. Made a cloud, didn't I? So I think on this one how could i make a cloud i could paint it or draw it or use a bit of oh, a bit of scrap paper look i've got some old blue paper from something that i did before so i might just cut a random cloud shape so clouds can be all shapes and shapes and sizes can't they so it really doesn't matter i'm just going around just cutting out swirly whirly i'm just going around like this and I think this probably makes a beautiful cloud shape. 
don't you? Yes, perfect. I'm going to stick that on. Oh. Glue on the back. And I'll just stick that in the corner for my cloud. There we are. Perfect. So this looks nice, doesn't it? Does yours look similar? What can we put in the middle to make the flowers look a bit more exciting? So in, in this, on this one, um, I used pom-poms. Exactly. And I've got my big jar of pom-poms here. So I might just do the same now. But you could, if you wanted to, you could use tissue paper or buttons. Buttons are always nice too. So I'll just use random colours of pom-poms, put a bit of glue on and just pop them in. I'll just pop them in. Pop. And a white one. Pop. Yes, it does look nice. Let me show you. Ooh, that one doesn't really want to stick. Look, it does really brighten up the flowers, doesn't it? Makes them look very nice. A red one. And a lavender one. Yes, yeah, so just use tissue paper or buttons, whatever you have. Or you might have some other really good ideas that I haven't thought of. There you go. These are my flowers looking lovely. And now, what else is there to do? Let's have a look at this one. What did I do here around the outside? What did I use to make a pretty frame? Yes, some ribbon. Now, I wonder if you do have some. I always keep the ribbons if I get presents. I always keep the ribbons. I wonder if you do that. So I've actually got some gold. And I've got some... Well, this is not from a present. This one comes from a shop. I've got some red and white stripy ones. So that might be nice. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's quite easy to do. All you have to do is put some glue right at the bottom of your picture all along here let's just have some glue whoop and then the same at the top same at the top and then let me show you we just put the ribbon on we'll just stick it on and hopefully it stays there yep yeah, it does so as you can see here just snip off just stick it at the bottom and we'll just snip off see snip it off there and then the same at the top just use however much you want and then just snip off the rest quite nice making frames with ribbon isn't it so we just snip off the rest so there's my top and bottom uh, frame and at the sides I'm going to use the red ribbon that I've got there and then I think our collage would look absolutely beautiful oh my glue is very sticky there we are. now I'm hoping of course I didn't measure this I'm hoping I've got enough of this ribbon if not I have to find some more Oh, it looks it looks hopeful. <laughs> oh, this this is nice. I do like this. So you just cut it wherever you want want the frame to end. Look, this really brightens it up, doesn't it? Beautiful. And all that on an old piece of card. How good is that? There. Whoop. Perfect. And we'll snip that off. And that's it. Absolutely beautiful. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? The very last thing you could do if you wanted to. If you do have any buttons, or you could use pom poms or tissue paper, you could just stick one in each corner 
just to really brighten it up. So I'm going to use some buttons. Any buttons? I've got my jar of buttons here. So I'll try and use quite big ones because that will look really nice in the corners. There, I've got four buttons for four corners. Let me show you. Here they are. But if you don't have one, you could just use stick pom poms in the corners or uh, tissue paper balls or maybe cut some hearts out of paper or anything you wanted to I mean the possibilities are endless aren't they you can be so creative one here and one here ah oh, lovely I'm so pleased with this I'm really pleased with it so I'm going to let this dry now and then cut off the rest of the cardboard what do you think you see how, what I've done with the buttons? I just cut them, stuck them into the corners to finish it off nicely. What do you think? I'm really pleased. Are you pleased with yours? I really hope you are. And this is our flower collage. You could even, if you wanted to do, stick some more buttons. Or well, here, let me show you. If you wanted to use pom-poms, you could just maybe stick one in the middle like this it's just quite nice to decorate the frame isn't it might just stick one more at the top i love a pom-pom <laughs> there and mine is finished now i will let that dry now and then later on i'm just going to cut Around the outside here so that you, you don't see the card anymore. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Well done for joining today. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your photos of your flower collages. Have a nice rest of the day, and I'll see you next time when it's time for Planet Art. Bye, everyone.